Hey guys, I am Gautam and welcome to GKMix. So in this video, I am going to talk about everything about IIT Jam 2021 examination. So I teach specially on IIT Jam chemistry examination, but this video will be in general IIT Jam 2021 examination. So basically, the questions comes to your mind uh, about the IIT Jam examination. I will be solving, I will be answering all those questions. The basic, whenever you are trying to fill up the application form for IIT Jam chemistry or IIT Jam examination, the first criteria, first things that comes to your mind that is about the eligibility. Because if you are not eligible, you are not, uh, you cannot apply, you cannot uh, go for further processes. Okay, so that's why it's very important to know the eligibilities. After eligibilities, I will be giving you some information regarding the examinations, and this video will be about this. So, this video will decide uh, that what are the eligibilities and what are the Pre examination factors that you have to take care of. Okay, so you know that IIT Jam 2021 is conducted by IIC Bangalore, and this institute is quite one of the most, one of the best institute or premier institute in India. So, this they are maybe, maybe you may, you may think that maybe the IIT exam examination will be a little bit different, but don't worry, IIT exam examination will not be different. All other things, whenever any IIT is, IIT is conducting the examination all other things would be 100% same or similar okay so without further time wasting let's get started so this is the full iit jam 2021 examination that you can see so here you will get all the highlights you will get all the highlights over here okay and not only that iit jam examination is for masters msc 2 year students for masters in economics okay this subject has been added this year then joint msc phd course joint msc phd course means first you have to complete your msc then you have to uh, to get admission into your PhD. It's not uh, same with integrated PhD course. In where in integrated PhD course, you have to start your research work during your MSc. But joint means different. First, complete your MSc, then take the admission into uh, <coughs> PhD. Okay. So IIT Kharagpur and IIT Bhubaneswar provides this opportunity that joint MSc PhD course. Okay. So I am from IIT Kharagpur. So I know that yeah, after MSc you can leave, and I, that's why I did. I leave after MSc. So you can also leave after your joint MSc PhD course. But for integrated course, it is a little bit tough to leave because they generally holds your degree and uh, gives your degree uh, give your degree after three years, not after two years, like joint courses. Okay, fine. Then other post bachelor's degree that, that you can see and programs and integrated PhD program, programs. So all other post bachelor programs or a degree you would get through this IIT Jam chemistry or IIT Jam examination. Perfect. Coming to this. So from September 10th, the examinations form fill up will be started. Okay, so from, from September 10th, Thursday, be ready and fill up your application form. And I will be making another dedicated video on how to fill up the application form from each and every steps. Okay, so make sure that you have subscribed this channel and you are uh, totally uh, connected to me. Perfect. Okay, so now what we can do, I am just shifting to my iPad screen so that I can show you everything. I can show you everything, each and everything. Okay. So first thing is about the eligibility that is very important before you apply for the examination okay so the basic eligibility criteria so look at this this is my eligibility okay look at this this is the most important factor that you have to take care of okay so here it is written that in the qualifying degree the aggregate marks focus on the what aggregate marks or cgp or cpi without rounding up rounding up means Taking into account all subjects, in, including languages, subsidiaries, all years combined. Matlab, you mean all the subjects, you have to consider all the subjects, 100% subjects. That can be your language, that can be your English, that can be your environmental science, everything you have to consider. And based upon that, your total marks should be 55% in percentage or CGPA will be 5.5 out of 10. Okay, and this is for general or OBC, general OBC and EWS candidates. And 50% as you can see for SC, ST and PWD candidates. So you have to uh, calculate your marks, all three year marks, not like uh, first year, second year, third year, not like that. All three year marks, you have to take the average of all three year marks and then total marks should be 55% for uh, general OBC or EWS and 50% for SC, ST and PWD to appear or to uh, get admission in the examination you can appear but if your marks is not fulfilled then you you cannot take the admission okay so how because whenever you are appearing in the examination you won't get your result 
okay you won't get your result so how would you uh, know that yeah how uh, my rank or my overall percentage is that so they will give you some time so you have to uh, you have to have some hope in yourself okay so that you can uh, get the idea okay i will be definitely getting 55 percent or 50 percent marks so that depends upon you okay you just need to have hope on you perfect okay <clears throat> and you have to submit those mark sheets that means third year mark sheets till september 30 that is very important look at this at september 30 okay proof of having passed of the qualifying degree look at this qualifying degree with minimum educational qualification as specified by admitting institute should be submitted by september 30 because till uh, whenever your examination will be held jam examination will be held at that time you won't have your degree because you are in the third year okay so you won't have your degree so that's why that's the reason why you have to submit your degree till september 30 Th degree means third year degree okay so you have to clear all the uh, backlogs or everything all those things till september 30 so this is first important eligibility i told you okay this this is done this eligibility is done and most of the cases your marks maximum overall three years aggregate not like first year marks or second year marks third year marks not like that in all three year marks take the average then calculate whether it is 55 percent or 50 percent or not if you are getting 50 percent in first year but you are getting 70 percent in second year and 70 percent in third year then also no problem because overall mark overall percentage is more than 55 percent or 50 percent okay another <clears throat> another eligibility that is about minimum educational qualification okay so here it is very important because i will be providing you all the links over here uh, in the description below okay so just go and check these links so whatever i am talking about before uh, the examination that you need to know okay so first is about subjects here subjects are written like here biotechnology and here is academic pro program so msc technology msc biotechnology then joint msc phd in molecular medical biology then msc phd dual degree in environmental science and engineering so these are the uh, degree that i will get after my, after i complete my degree and the corresponding institute that provides this degree okay so msc biotechnology iit indore bhubaneswar and Roorkee. iit bombay uh, indore and Roorkee. so essential qualification in bachelor degree so any branch or any subject you should have in your graduation uh, so that you can apply in your uh, apply in that examination for biotechnology to get admission into these institutes okay, to get admission into especially these institutes but uh, but if you want to come to iit kgp and get admission in joint msc phd in molecular medical microbiology then you have to have these following subjects in your graduation bsc or bs degree with biotechnology biology botany life science physiology everything dot 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 i will be giving you the link okay <clears throat> then restriction in 10 plus 2 level so if you are uh, in from bio if you want to appear in the bio biotechnology uh, examination or you want to get the admission in the corresponding institutes in biotechnology in 10 plus 2 there is no restriction because you don't need to have anything from 10 plus 2 but if you move forward then if you want to go to IIT Bombay MSc PhD dual degree in environmental science and engineering then you can see this is your graduation eligibility this one is graduation eligibility let me highlight this one this is your graduation eligibility and this is your class 10 plus 2 eligibility for this so now in this in the first two cases there was no limitation in uh, 10 plus 2 but in the third cases if you want to get the admission in IIT Bombay in this particular um, program then you have to have the corresponding eligibility in 10 plus 2 you have to have the mathematics okay only have mathematics there is no certain percentage you need to have if you are if you are failing mathematics okay then also no problem just you need to have the mathematics perfect then coming to chemistry i will be giving you till chemistry then also you can check all of your if you are from other department you can easily check uh, the eligibility okay just i will be providing you the link okay so just check so chemistry so if you want to uh, complete your get your degree in masters msc chemistry from iit indore then what will happen that the condition is ms you have to read chemistry for three semester three years or six semester okay and there will be no restriction in 10 plus 2 if you don't have mathematics or like that nothing there is nothing with 10 there is nothing to do with 10 plus 2 subjects but except iit indore if you want to get uh, admission into other institutes other iits first graduation criteria that you have already you already can fulfill that is about chemistry for three years or six semesters but here you have to have mathematics to get admission into these institutes 
ओके इवन यू हैव टू गेट द जॉइन इनटू गेट द एडमिशन इनटू दिस जॉइंट एमएससी पीएचडी कोर्स इन आईआईटी भुवनेश्वर एंड आईआईटी केजीपी देन आल्सो यू हैव टू हैव मैथमेटिक्स इन 10+2 देयर इज नो सर्टेन परसेंटेज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस केस नो रिक्वायर्ड नो रिक्वायर्ड परसेंटेज इन मैथमेटिक्स लाइक 40% 50% 60% लाइक दैट देयर इज नो सच रिक्वायरमेंट्स बट द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट यू जस्ट हैव टू हैव मैथमेटिक्स इफ यू सो मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस व्हाट हैपेंस इफ यू आर फ्रॉम केमिस्ट्री बैकग्राउंड व्हाट हैपेंस uh you suppose you have, don't have mathematics in your 10 plus 2 then also you only can get admission only can get admission in iit indore without mathematics in 10 plus 2 okay but if you have mathematics then you are eligible for all the institutions but wait so remember this fact this is very important <clears throat> other department requirements are also there so this is how all the subjects all the uh, institutes and their corresponding requirements in graduation that means this you know these row graduation means which row this row and the second row on 10 plus to this row so these two row is very important once you are filling up the form or once you are preparing for the examination okay these two should be satisfied and another thing is if you don't have mathematics in 10 plus 2 uh, just try to appear in the examination again 10 plus 2 mathematics examination again from your like let me show you from your uh, from your examination examination of board examination so from which board you are you belongs to like cbsc icsc like that okay or you can uh, there is another exam ani os examination will be there so you can appear in mathematics in the examination also perfect so that will be good then you will you are eligible in the examination you are in the uh, in appearing in the examination or get in getting the iits okay so this is very important that you should appear in the examination or in your board examination so prefer the board examination but if in your board there is no such re examination in 10 plus 2 mathematics then go for nios examination to have mathematics okay perfect now coming back to eligibility so all the eligibilities are done i told you so check the description to check the eligibility for you in most of the cases if you have mathematics you don't need to worry and if you have uh, read three years at subject your uh, lovable subject love subjects and also you are you have 60% or 55% marks nothing to worry do not see anything just fill up the application form third one so this link is about or your previous year examination question paper so i have told you basic eligibility criteria and if you are talking about how much marks you have to get so i am giving you very simple idea very simple idea target target your target should be 50 target 50 that means 50 out of 100 you just target 50% marks so if your target is 50% definitely you can have you can good good iits you can get good iits okay and not only that your target is, 50, target is 50 that doesn't mean you will get only 50 percent marks no maybe it can be 60 or 65 maybe it can be 45 so based upon the questions difficulty level the marks can vary so if question is tough you can get good id uh, with these 45 marks if questions are easy you can have uh, good ideas with 60 or 65 marks but most of the cases i have seen that 50 percent marks is the average marks that your student should get and 50 percent and plus minus 5 marks plus 5 50 to 55 marks if you are getting it definitely you will have good ideas perfect good so this video will be very simple is very simple and i am ending this video over here because in and whenever the, uh, the application form will be released on 10 september i will be making a dedicated video on that so that you can just check out and how to fill up the application form what are the requirement uh, what are the uh, documents required uh, whenever you are filling up the application form whatever okay that i will show you there so just stay tuned stay connected to me and that is all about this video okay so thank you thanks for watching